So, I mean, yeah, it's progressively gotten. They say that beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and that's true, of course. My name is Daphne, and I'm a model. But beauty also comes in all types of skin color, age, and nationality. I am the most excited. Parents and I made an appointment with a dermatologist. These amazingly gorgeous women from around the world are expanding the definition of what beauty really is. Aya Ostergren. 5'10 model Aya Ostergren is in a category of her own. The Swedish beauty has 40 inch legs, which she gets to show off quite a lot since she works as a model. But that wasn't always the case. When she was in high school, her peers would tease her relentlessly for having such unusually long legs. But she was the one who got to have the last laugh, because now she's using her unique beauty to skyrocket her career as a model and bodybuilder. And now her unique trait continues to take her life in directions she never could have imagined while growing up. Tsunena Tibetan model and human goddess Tsunena has beautiful cat-like eyes, luscious lips, and a chiseled jawline. And her skin is so white that she kind of resembles a porcelain doll, doesn't she? But Tsunena also has a unique nose bridge that helped her take the fashion industry by storm. And her impressive number of freckles on her face makes her look like some sort of otherworldly avatar. In fact, it was her unique features that got makeup artist Pat McGrath to notice her. Ever since then, the stunning beauty has worked with Harper's Bazaar, Christian Dior, and King Kong magazine. Aside from rocking the fashion industry, she's also an aspiring musician who likes to use songs to tell stories. Sophia Haji Pentelli. Step aside, Cara Delevingne, because Greek Cypriot American Sofia Haji Penteli is here to raise some brows. The stunning model was born and raised in Cyprus and thanks her regional genes for her impressively thick brows. Sofia's parents taught her to be proud of her culture, where bushy unibrows are really common. Interestingly enough, this all started when she tried coloring her blonde brows black, which wound up making her unibrow more noticeable. And despite what people have said to her on social media, Sofia has pushed forward by adding the hashtag unibrow movement to her photos and owning her gorgeous unibrow. What is disgusting about hair on your face? Milani Alexia. Katrina Martinez from Minnesota has no idea how to respond to strangers who compliment her daughter's unbelievably big brown eyes. Milani Alexia was diagnosed with Axenfeld-Rieger syndrome when she was about a week old. This rare eye condition produced glaucoma and affected the way her eyes developed. It also made them look insanely large. So little Milani had to undergo surgery when she was only five months old to prevent her from going blind. Luckily, the surgery was successful, but Milani's condition left her with captivating big eyes that make heads turn. Now when strangers comment on her big doe eyes, Karina simply smiles and thanks them for noticing her daughter's rare features. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. Molly Bear. Five foot, 11 inch model Molly Bear definitely stands out from the crowd and it's not just because she's ridiculously pretty. The gorgeous blonde from Philly kind of looks like a praying mantis strutting down the runway and being on the fashion industry's radar truly paid off. Molly's alien-esque features got her signed with Elite London and the girl's been as busy as can be. She even closed Chanel Couture once in a wedding dress. Molly walked so many shows for big name designers like Wang, Proenza, and Giles that it's hard for her to keep track. But one thing everyone notices about her is that her long legs and goblin-like features allow her to step out from the concept of a traditional model. Nastya Zhidkova if you've never heard of Nastya Zhidkova, you might want to remember her name because she sure has a bright future ahead of her. This otherworldly beauty was born in Moscow and is about 5 foot 5 inches tall. But what makes her stand out is her albinism, which gives her some major ethereal wood nymph vibes. Nastya's unique beauty almost makes her look like she could have played any character on Lord of the Rings. She could even play an AI with her extreme white hair and white eyes. But she's not just beautiful on the outside. She's pretty clever too and has a passion for sociology, psychology, law, and fashion. Plus, she's been staying busy working with several modeling agencies while constantly updating her over 100,000 fans on Instagram. Melvinin. 
If there's anyone who could easily dominate the fashion industry in a heartbeat, it's Gambian model Melvinin. Some would even say that her exotic beauty makes her look more like a flesh and blood anime character. The dark skinned model's fine features and bright eyes look even more refined thanks to her snow white hair. But she's just as mysterious as her beauty. Her username was somewhat influenced by the word melanin, and she goes by the nickname B according to her Instagram page. And although her favorite movie genre is horror, this beauty is certainly not a beast. Nakia Phoenix this rare beauty's freckles have been on her skin since she was four years old. At first, she didn't think there was anything unusual about her because most of her family had freckles too. But that all changed when she went to school. Nakia wrote on an Instagram photo caption about how much hate she used to get for her unique beauty. She said, I was picked on a lot for my spots and it hurt. But after becoming a model, she's been all aboard the self-love train, embracing her uniqueness and loving every freckle on her body. But she would rather people focus less on her skin and remember her for her heart and tenacity. In Seattle, if you're an outsider, you feel like you don't know anyone. Cassandra No. The stunning Canadian dancer was born with a rather massive pigmented patch under her right eye. But if you think she's going to get it removed, think again. Not only is she not getting rid of it, she's fully embracing it. Cassandra told People, it helps me be more memorable, which is super important in this industry as a performer. There were a few times where I seriously considered getting it my birthmark removed. And although she had to deal with bullying in her childhood because of her patch, she doesn't regret her decision. Now that she's living in Los Angeles, California, she really stands out, which is an incredible advantage when she goes on auditions. Moffy Hardy British model Moffy Hardy is super funny and friendly, but she also won the genetic lottery big time. But she's not just another pretty face. Luckily for her and her career, she has a feature that makes her stand out from all the other models going for the same gigs as her. Moffy has a lazy eye that makes her look a bit unusual, but she fully embraced her unique quirkiness and believes that anyone can make their flaws a part of their identity. By doing so, they'll be able to turn their insecurities into self-confidence just like she did. She doesn't even mind talking about it if it helps someone else feel better about themselves, and we definitely love what she preaches. Ducky Thought The South Sudanese Australian model Ducky Thought was getting tired of the lack of inclusivity in the Australian modeling industry. She told Allure, I'm often the only black woman on set. But after moving to Brooklyn, Ducky managed to impress the most experienced pros in the industry. The Aussie beauty was chosen as Alice in the All Black Alice in Wonderland photo shoot for the 2018 Pirelli calendar. She's also worked with Fenty, Moschino, and Yeezy. Still, Ducky likes to be prepared, so she always brings her own makeup so that the right products are used on her radiant dark skin. It lacked a lot for black women. There are so many people that need to be. Caitlin Stickles. Seattle based model Caitlin Stickles was born with Schmidt Fraccaro, commonly known as cat eye syndrome. It's a rare chromosomal disorder which causes facial disfigurement. And in Caitlin's case, it left her with show stopping cat like features, particularly in the eyes. But she's proud to defy beauty standards by being the antithesis of what a model is supposed to look like. It's one of the reasons why V Magazine photographer Nick Knight saw her photos on Instagram and invited her to do a photo shoot with him. It was their combined hope that this would help the fashion industry make a major leap forward in diversity. Deandra Forrest African American beauty Deandra Forrest is the first female model with albinism who was signed on to a major modeling agency. Her condition keeps her body from producing melanin pigments in her hair, skin, and eyes. So as a child growing up in the Bronx, she felt out of place because of her features. It's not easy with having albinism. There is still a lack of understanding of what albinism is. But now, she represents one of several faces of a global campaign that hopes to change perceptions about people with this genetic condition. Adwa Aboa British fashion model Adwa Aboa has a constellation of freckles on her stunning dark skin, which used to drive her insane when she didn't understand her own beauty. She told The Guardian, I thought I was hideous. I wanted to jump out of my skin. But now she's an advocate and activist for mental health. She also founded Girls Talk, a platform that allows young women to talk about mental health, education, and identity in a safe space. Adwa also has her own Barbie complete with shaved head and brown skin. Daphne Self. My name is Daphne and I'm a model. British supermodel and icon Daphne Self is 91 and has no intention of retiring from the business just yet. 
She's been working as a model for nearly 70 years and is known as the oldest working model, but age hasn't stopped her from celebrating her beauty and rocking every shoot. Daphne might have been born in 1928, but she's still so refreshing on every shoot. She's a spitfire full of energy, which is why Vogue wanted to include her in an article about what it feels like to be old. Photographer Nick Knight was present at the shoot and he watched Daphne work her magic, and that's when it all began for her. Now she's loving every minute. She told Telegraph Magazine, When life is so interesting, why should I give it up until it gives me up? Erica Linder Swedish model Erika Linder was discovered by a modeling scout when she was 14, and believe it or not, she declined the opportunity. But seven years later, she made her debut looking like a young Leonardo DiCaprio. This opened the door to other modeling campaigns like Louis Vuitton. She even became the face of Tom Ford's men's beauty line. She didn't like wearing makeup or dresses because they made her uncomfortable, so she was happy that the industry allowed her to do male modeling, too. And now, Erika thinks that the future of fashion will be gender-free. Sarah Gertz This mysterious beauty from Minneapolis was born with Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. The condition causes her skin to sag, making her look older than she truly is because her body lacks collagen. Despite this, the model is on two missions. She's campaigning to ensure that the modeling industry provides greater representation for all types of people. Sarah's also looking for a medical treatment that will treat her condition, which has left her bedridden at one point. But if there's one thing she's proven, it's that she's a total fighter. And is there anything more beautiful than resilience and strength? So, I mean, yeah, it's progressively gotten. Ashley Smith. When she was a teen, Texas native Ashley Smith was sporting a lip ring and half-inch gauges in her ears. She also had a you're born in Texas, you stay in Texas type of mentality. But all that changed when she turned 18 and moved to New York to become a model. She wasn't what the industry typically looked for. She was shorter than most models and had a gap between her front teeth. Thankfully, her agent got her to go to Paris and the modeling world embraced her unique quirks. Now she has her own agency called No Agency and is signing models who are as different as she is. This is only the beginning of something beautiful, isn't it? What do you think of some of these rare beauties? Do you feel identified by their diverse looks? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to The Taco.